Hey, I'm Jay from the Cubs Cast. Welcome to a game called Pen Pal. Now, I was looking for games to play on the channel, and I saw this game called Pen Pal, and it kind of reminded me of a game I played a few months ago called Love Sam. The description of this game says that Pen Pal is a short, interactive horror experience in which the player is able to choose their response to mysterious notes that are being sent by a stranger in the dead of night. If that doesn't excite you, then I don't know what will, because Pen Pal is coming at you right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! Somebody's already knocking at our door. So yeah, we woke up in the middle of night. I think we're sleeping on chains. Who could be knocking at this time of night? I don't know, but I'm about to go find out. I kind of want to get in the mood of this. So why is there... <coughs> it feels like there's a hair in my throat. <coughs> I'm trying to get into this, and I feel like there's like a hair in my throat, like a pube or something. What the heck? Anyway, our first note. So let's see what it says. Dear Thomas, my name is Larry... Brickender, oh! and I'm writing you to ask about the idea of possibly exchanging letters between us. I've been rather lonely as of late due to recent circumstance, so the past few weeks I've been going door to door, leaving people notes like this. Since I haven't anyone to talk to, I would like to ask if you would be comfortable with keeping in contact for a little while so I would have someone to regularly write to. Having a pen pal is tons of fun. And it's been a good while since I've had one. You can tell me about your interests, happenings of your life, or perhaps you could write me if you ever feel you just need somebody to project your thoughts onto. I hope to hear back from you. Sincerely, Larry. With a shitty drawing of a smiley face. That's cute. I'd better go write a reply upstairs. I don't know what my guy does for a living, but he seems pretty successful. And he does look short because these chairs look like high chairs. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So let's tell him about our experiences of being the shortest person in the world with the fanciest house this side of the Mississippi, okay? This is, I believe, yep, this is where I write. So let's sit down. Choose one of the pre-written responses to reply to the note you received. Dear Larry, the idea of exchanging letters sounds acceptable to me. I am quite fond of writing and reading, and I haven't got a clue on what to write as of late. I'm also interested to know about your life and your hobbies and such. I think being pen pals would be a very neat experience. I would also like to ask why you've been so lonely, if you don't mind me doing so. Hope to hear from you again. Sincerely, Thomas. Dear Larry, I would love to be your pen pal, although... I would greatly appreciate if you could refrain from sending me notes at such a late hour since I work in the mornings and need my rest. I'm sorry you've been lonely lately and I can't wait to get to know you better. I actually had a pen pal when I was much younger so I do know how much fun it can be to have one. A couple things about me that you should know. I love dogs, my favorite color is red, and I love to watch movies. I also enjoy making new friends, so this proposition is perfect for me. Anyways, thank you for writing me, and I await your reply. Sincerely, Thomas. This one sounds like you're starving for a pen pal. Let's be cool, calm, and collected, all right? I'm gonna choose the first one. Let me know if you think I made the right choice. I feel like the second one, you're just being too personal. Like, he don't need to know that you love dogs. You rest your head and mail the letter in the morning. But he's the one leaving me notes under the door, so maybe I should just leave it under the door as well, and then maybe he'll come and get it later. It feels good to have a friend, doesn't it? I have many friends. It, it doesn't feel any like different. Oh, shit, never mind. So, we get another knock on the door. Oh! I better go answer the door. That light scared the shit out of me. What in the world? I'm sorry, everybody. I freaked myself out for no reason. I don't like this. I know this is a horror game, so I'm already on edge. Like, the head is on a swiv. Let's pick this up. Dear Thomas, fantastic. I'm super excited to have someone to talk to, and I look forward to getting to know you as well. I'd simply love to hear some things about your life, if you're comfortable with sharing. A few things to know about me is that I love cats. My favorite color is blue. And my favorite thing to do in my spare time is write. Speaking of which, I also want to say that I love reading and writing just like you. And I think it's great that we have that in common. Oh, and to answer the question you asked me in your previous reply, I don't think I'm exactly comfortable with sharing the reason as to why I've been lonely, since it is rather personal. Anyhow, it was wonderful writing to you, and I look forward to hearing back from you again. Sincerely, Larry. Oh, Larry Bear. Write a reply, write a reply, write a reply to this Larry guy. Bada boo, bada boo. I'm sorry, everybody. I have never had a pen pal before. I think in fourth grade I had a pen pal, but I never got a response back. I think they instantly hated me. But let's see what these replies are. Dear Larry, lovely to hear from you again, Larry. That doesn't make any sense. You just said, Dear Larry, and then you said, Love to hear from you again, Larry. Like, you don't need to say Larry twice, all right? I'm not an English major, but I'm just saying. It was very interesting to hear about things you're interested in. 
as it helped me to get to know you better. One thing that I would like to ask is why you deliver your letters at such a late time? I find it rather disrupting to my sleep, which is important to me since I work in the morning. Anyways, I'm very glad we both enjoy reading and writing, and that I now have someone that I can write to consistently. One thing I'd like to ask you is where you work, as I'm curious if you work from home or go to an office. I personally go to work, but I know a lot of people are stuck at home. Sorry if it's a bit of a random question, but I thought I'd just ask. Happy to have heard from you, and I await your reply. Sincerely, Thomas. Or we can say, Dear Lair Bear, hello, pleasure writing to you again. No problems with you not wanting to answer my question, by the way, about why you've been lonely. I realized that was rather insensitive of me to ask, and I apologize. It was also very nice to hear about your interests, and I want to say that I like a lot of the same things. Though I do prefer dogs over cats, personally. I would like to ask you how you've been feeling lately, especially with all the recent events that have been taking place in the world. Just asking to see if there's anything I can do to help you if you need it. Nice writing to you. Sincerely. Thomas. I think I'm a fan of the first one a little bit more. I don't know why. I feel like it's more friendly. So we're going to write that and hopefully they like it. And I'm going to call it right now. I think that we are writing the letters to ourselves. You feel a sense of unease. Oh shit. It says you feel a sense of unease, but you can't imagine why. Is that what you just said to me? How dare you? Why do I feel a sense of unease? I'd better go answer the door. What are you gonna do if I don't read the letter? You gonna spank me? You gonna whip me? Do it. I feel like that's somebody right there. That looks like something. That coat rack? Shit look like a ghost with T-Rex arms. Dear Thomas, a pleasure... Oh shit, I spit on the, I spit on the microphone. Dear Thomas, a pleasure to receive your reply. To answer your question about my... What's that? Local residents of West oh my god. That is creepy, dude. That creeped me out. I got the chills. Look, everybody. I got the chills. I got the chills that kill. Look, the, the chills. The chills that kill. These chills, they kill. I thought I was hearing something inside of my room that I was recording in, and I got freaked out. My nipples instantly went hard mode. But it's the TV, and I can hear the static in this game. It's creepy as shit. It says, as of right now, I'm unemployed. I'm staying at my girlfriend's house right now. And she's been trying her best to keep me in great spirits until I can find a new place of employment. COVID hasn't hit me quite as hard as it's hit some others, so I'm doing quite fine. Thank you for asking, though. It's nice to know there are still some people who care in these times. Sincerely, Larry. Larry and Gary are different from Jerry. I don't want to reply yet. There was, uh, weird sounds in this game. What the heck? Oh, God. I don't like this, everybody. Dear Larry, hello. You did not answer my question. Why do you insist on delivering your notes at such a late hour? As I said previously, it's incredibly disruptive to my sleep, which I need since I work in the morning. Please do not send me a letter at this time of night again. Respectfully, Thomas. Dear Larry, hello again. It was nice to hear that you've been well with your girlfriend, and I'm sorry that you're unemployed. I myself have been without work before. And it can be very difficult. But it does sound like you have a wonderful girlfriend who's willing to help you out in these times. Having someone there for you can be super helpful. It was lovely to hear back from you. Fuck that. I don't even think this person even has a girlfriend. Because if they had a girlfriend, they wouldn't be wasting all this time writing me. All right? Unless I'm the girlfriend. You rest your head and mail the letter in the morning. I don't even think this person has a job. You're just going to go to the post office and mail a letter every single morning? Don't be scared. Oh shit, this game, bro. Yo, everybody. I don't know what's about to happen right now, but I think that we are in for a little fucky wucky. I better go answer the door. Okay. I'm gonna go answer the door. Oh, fuck. This is scary as hell. I'm so nervous. It's like 2 in the morning right now of this recording, and I'm terrified. Anyway, take this letter. Sorry, Tom. I just love the night air. What does that mean? Go upstairs and write a reply. What does that mean? I just- OH MY GOD! WHOA! Find a fuse and put it in the kitchen breaker to turn the power back on. Holy crap! Oh. 
I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh. I don't even want to move. Larry? Lair? Larry? Come on, Larry. Don't do this to me. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Is that it? Is that it? That was the... Oh, my God. That is freaking scary as shit. Oh. Oh, my... Oh, fuck. Oh, my heart. Be still, my beating heart. Holy crap. That was not pleasant. A short horror experience by Mast Steven. Bravo. Bravo. That was really, really freaking creepy. It says that I got the bad ending. Okay. So maybe I have to kiss Larry's ass with the letters. I think the replies that I made were a little too obnoxious. And then it pissed Larry off. Larry happens to be that demon right there. So I'm going to jump back into this. And I'm really going to be on my Shakespeare shit and write just the finest, sweetest shit ever. Why can I open this? I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know who. I don't know how. But I'm not going over there. I'm not doing that. I need to explode this whole house. Maybe there's something I can find. Maybe there's something I can do, right? Yep. I legit am the shortest person in the world because that toilet... That looked like Mount Everest to climb. There's something very, very creepy about the way this game looks. It's so simple, but I feel like it could just like, boom, scare your ass in like the snap of a finger. I don't even know why. But let's try to just kiss ass in these replies, okay? So this is the first one. We read it before. I forgot what it said, but I think that Larry was just introducing themselves. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna be very, very specific about the things that I like. That I'm gonna say I like dogs, and all that stuff. I'm going to choose the second option. Actually, the second reply sounds a little bit more aggressive. So I think I made the right choice choosing the first option. So I'm going to write this one. And I'm going to be fine with that. I think I'm going to be satisfied with the little ass kissing that I'm doing with the first letter. Okay, so I forgot what the second batch of responses were. It says, lovely to hear from you again, Larry. It's very interesting to hear about things you're interested in as it helped me get to know you better. One thing that I would like to ask is why you deliver your letters at such a late time. Nope, nope, nope. Hello, pleasure writing to you again. No problems with you not wanting to answer my question. By the way, about why you've been lonely, I realized that was rather insensitive of me to ask, and I apologize. It was also very nice to hear about your interest. And I want to say that I like a lot of the same things, though I do prefer dogs over cats. Okay, I think that this one is a little more like mwah, 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 on the ass cheeks. So I'm going to write that letter and send it. So I think the first two letters I wrote on my first run at this game were actually legit on my dad's fake titties. So yeah, we're going to keep that one. I think the third letter is where I screwed up big time. You feel a sense of unease, but you can't imagine why. Maybe Larry, since he has access to the house actually watches me sleep what if he's in there right now bro what if he's in there right now hold on should i check fuck this oh thank god i had the chills that kill wait a minute this note is different than the one that i got last time listen to this it says no worries at all about you asking about my life i didn't take much offense to the question oh and i've been feeling very well emotionally thanks for asking COVID hasn't hit me quite as hard as it hit some other people, and I'm very thankful for that. Now, I do have one question to ask you. Sorry if it's a bit random. I'd like to ask this to most of my pen pals just to get to know them a little bit better. Have you ever been in a relationship that just didn't work out and you felt like it's all your fault? Like you could have done something different? I know it's a very personal question, so I won't mind if you don't answer. Sincerely, Larry. Yeah, he didn't say that before, right? I remember he said that he had a girlfriend. Which I didn't believe. Right, Larry? I know you can hear me, Larry. Wait, there's a note right there. Oh my god! Is that Larry? What the fuck? Wait. Bye, have a great time. Oh, sweet god. What was that? Wait. What was that about? Larry? Wait. Larry was in the wall. You all saw that, right? Larry? Larry? Oh. Holy f- 
fuck? Okay, Larry, you're really creeping me out now. What is this? I found your new address. Why did you move? I just wanted another chance, Laura. Is that too much to ask? It's been so long since I've seen you, but I'll finally be able to tonight. You thought you could just forget about me? Because I've never forgotten about you? Not for a second since you left. You thought that you could just leave me? Like I'm nothing? I saw your new boyfriend too. Seems like a great guy. If only he treated you as well as I did. If you're reading this, then I'm upstairs right now. I've heard you come in, and I'm heading downstairs right now. Don't bother calling the cops. I cut the phone lines. And why would you want to leave? I have a wonderful smile to share with you. I can't wait to hold you again. And this time I won't let you go. Sincerely, Larry. I'm so scared to put the freaking thing down because the note says that don't bother going upstairs because I'm coming down right now. Fuck this. Oh. Oh my God. What is this? Bro, I hate this game. I don't even know who I am right now. Am I Thomas? Am I the new boyfriend? Oh my god, I might be the new boyfriend. I might be the new boyfriend. This is not good. I don't like this. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that letter, okay? I'm so nervous to read this right now. <laughs> Hello again. I'm quite glad to hear you've been doing well during COVID. I'm also happy that I can make you feel even better by being your pen pal. Now to your question, I honestly don't think I'll answer it. Like you said, it's a very personal question and it kind of did come out of nowhere. Maybe I'll answer it later on once we know each other better. My apologies. Sincerely, Thomas. Hold on. I don't think that's the right thing to say. Let's say hi there again. Good to hear you've been getting by. I personally have been quite down lately since I haven't been able to see my family in a couple of weeks. And to answer the question you asked, yes, I have. I find that when you start to feel like this, it's best to take a step back and look at the situation as a whole, not just your part in it. You need to see what went wrong between your partner and you, but you also have to acknowledge what you may have done wrong. Because in my experience, the sooner you come to terms with your own faults, the easier it is to deal with the breakup. Is there any reason you ask? Thomas. I know the reason why Larry's asking. Because you gotta be the new man, right? Oh, fuck. Wait, the closet door's open. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Larry, wait, it's always been open. It's always been open. I'm freaking myself out. Just go to sleep right now. God damn it. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. You rest your head and mail the letter in the morning. Is anyone else feeling like me right now? Like this pen pal is just going to pop out of nowhere. Don't pretend to understand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> he has the secret gang sign type of knock too. Like, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. <sighs> okay. I better go answer the door. Yep. I better go do it. Or else I'm dead meat. Actually, I think I'm dead meat no matter what. So, yeah. This is going to be real cute. <sighs> Any more secret notes? No. No notes. No notes. No problem. Hopefully, I made the right choice, everybody. Let's see what the person says. Oh, fuck. I made the wrong choice. I made the wrong choice. That's the smiley face of death right there. He's behind me, isn't he? Go upstairs and write a reply. Okay. I bet you he's behind me. Yep. Right there. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Um, maybe I can just go upstairs and write a reply. Find a fuse and put it in the kitchen breaker to turn the power on. How about I don't? How about I don't? I'm just gonna go upstairs. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, this is so freaking creepy, dude. <gasps> no. No. Wait, write a reply. Come on. No! <gasps> oh, fuck. <laughs> Any secret notes? Oh, God. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to, like, get all the notes right. All the replies are supposed to be just, like, pure ass kissing. Basically, French kissing ass. And just, you know, stroking egos and... Oh, boy. Yeah. Let's just do that. Let's just stroke some egos, why don't you? Everybody loves a good ego stroke. Okay. I already know that we're gonna get jump scared. It is what it is, everybody. Like, once I put the fuse here... S L. 
Yep, that's it. That's it, L. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we got the bad ending again. Oh, shit. Is that Larry? Bro. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, these are different little jump scares every single time. That is freaking terrifying. How did he even pop his head in the window like that? Let's see what I'm going to say. Hi. While it was very nice to hear back from you, I honestly don't feel comfortable sharing the information you requested. Sorry, but I would just feel a lot safer if I kept my security information to myself. Nope, I'm not going to say that. Hello, I'm glad you got my reply. I personally use Silver Pyramid Security Interface since I find it extremely effective against break-ins and vandalism. Funny story, actually. Once the camera actually did catch somebody trying to break into my house and the alarm set off immediately... It scared him away. It's super cool and easy to set up. You can look that online if you want to buy it. I do know the neighborhood you're in tends to have quite a bit of crime, so I definitely think you could benefit from it. Oh, and I wanted to ask you quickly what your favorite book is, since we both love reading and writing. Personally love The Giver by Lois Lowry. I await your response. Sincerely, Thomas. That sounds good. That sounds about right. So I'm going to write that. If you all don't agree with the decisions that I've made, let me know what paths you would have taken, and maybe we would get, like, a better ending. Your eyelids trap you in even more blackness. I feel like those lines foreshadow what's about to happen, and it terrifies the fuck out of me. I better go answer the door. God damn it. Please, don't do this to me. Don't you dare do this to me, game. Oh, God. Okay, there's no note on the wall. That's good. Let's see what Larry says about the fact that we are so open about our security system. Don't be a smiley face. Oh, thank goodness. Dear Thomas, thank you very much for telling me which security system you use. You were correct in saying my neighborhood has quite a lot of crime, so I think this will help a bunch. And I honestly don't think I have a favorite book. There are several literary works that I find to be enthralling if I had to choose only one. I think I'd pick The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. I enjoy that story quite a bit. Now I do have a question that I would like to ask you. I just like to ask this question to people to get to know them better. Have you ever been in a relationship that just didn't work out and you feel like it's your fault? Like you could just have done better? I just thought that I would ask you. Sincerely, Larry. So with the relationship question, I think that I was a little too information giving. I don't even know if that's a word. I don't even know what the fuck that means. I think I just gave him a little bit too much about the relationship. And I think that kind of pissed him off. So what I'm doing right now is seeing if I can find any more notes. But yeah, um, I think I gave him a little bit too much info. So what I'm going to do, I'm not really going to answer it like that. I'm going to say, no problem, man. Helping you out like this is the least I could do. Oh, and I also really enjoy the Telltale Heart. I actually appreciate several of Edgar Allan Poe's writings. I think it definitely has a flair to it. And to answer your question, I have not been in that situation before. I have been in relationships in the past that didn't quite work, but it was always a mutual agreement to leave each other, and I never really felt a breakup was my fault. Why do you ask? Okay, that one is pretty good, but let's see what the other one says. This one says, hello again. I'm glad the security system I recommended will help you out. If you need any more help with anything, I'm happy to oblige. Now, I do have to say that the question you asked in your previous note was rather out of nowhere. I honestly don't think that I'll answer in due to how personal it is. And since I barely know you, is there any reason in particular you asked this question? No, I'm going to go with this one because it just seems like I'm not trying to pick a fight. And I'm not trying to be like, hey, you know, you're being a little too personal with me. Like, back up. Why do bad things happen to good people? I don't know. I don't know, Larry. You tell me. Do bad things happen to you? Because you're a bad person. This is probably the last letter that he's going to send us, right? It's going to be like a little smiley face. No, no, I didn't really ask for a reason. I was just curious. Anyways, I got another question for you. What? What? Oh, my God. Do you believe in ghosts? You hear this asshole? Do I believe in ghosts? You bet your sweet ass I do! Yeah, I knew you were gonna be there, Larry! Do I believe in you? Do I believe in magic? Do I believe in love? Okay, so this is where I think I messed up last time. I was kind of open about that relationship question, but I think I'm gonna choose the other one where I say, now I do have to say that the question you asked me in your previous note was rather out of nowhere. I honestly don't think that I'll answer it 
in due to how personal it is. And since I barely know you, is there any reason in particular you asked this question? I think I'm going to use this one because maybe we'll get a different reply. Or he's probably just going to kill us all over again. Helping others come first, right? I always help others come first. I always come second, you know? I'm just generous like that. Now, I didn't really ask for a reason. I was just curious. Anyways, I got another question for you. Fuck. Okay, it's the do you believe in ghost bullshit. Oh my god. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, so you know how he asked me about the security system and I've kind of been just open about it and telling him exactly what I use? This time, I'm gonna just like pull back a little bit and say, hey buddy, you're being a little too strong right now. I'm not gonna tell you all that personal information. But anyway, what's up with you? That's basically what that response letter was. And let's see how he reacts to it. Okay, so Larry said, Hi, no worries with not sharing which security system you use. I do suppose that sharing that information could cause some problems. Sorry I asked. And to answer your question, I've been doing quite well for myself. I've got my own place to stay and I don't have a job, so COVID didn't really affect me all that much. Anyways, I've got a question for you. It's a bit of a personal question, so don't feel like you have to answer. Have you ever been in a relationship that didn't work out? Like it just didn't work? for some reason and you feel like it's all your fault i'm just curious sincerely larry i feel like no matter what i say here it's never good let's see what we are gonna choose happy to hear you're doing well through these tough times i know some people who are really struggling so i thought i'd ask not answer the question you asked i don't really think i'm comfortable with answering it it's a very random question and to be honest i barely know you i just don't feel like giving an answer to it right now because of how personal it is sorry about that you know what i'm gonna do that Actually, wait, let's see what the other one is. Thank you for understanding my wish to keep my security system private. I'm just worried that if somebody knew, they might be able to find a way to deactivate it, you know? Just trying my best to stay safe. Not answer the question that you asked. No, I haven't been in a relationship like that. I'm personally not that interested in dating, and I haven't been in a while. The fuck? I don't know. I really don't know which one to choose. I'm going to choose the first one. And if it doesn't work out... I'll replay this whole thing, and then I'll choose the other one, okay? No worries, buddy. Anyways, I've got another question for you. I fucked up. I messed this up, right? Do you believe in ghosts? God! All right, like I said, everybody, if the option that I chose the first time wasn't good, I'm gonna go for the other one. It says, I'm personally not that interested in dating, and I haven't been in a while. Why do you ask? So let's see what Larry says about this response. No, I didn't really ask for a reason. I was just curious. Anyways, I got another question for you. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Do you believe in ghosts? Fuck, I keep choosing the wrong thing then. There's actually a note right here in the bathroom. It says, Dear Laura, we haven't seen each other in months, and I've written you every day since you left. When are you going to respond? My hand is cramped with how many times I've apologized to you, and I've admitted what I did was wrong. I haven't spoken to her since it happened, and I would never be with anyone other than you. I've been putting on a smile, but I've been empty without you here. Please write me back. Give me one more chance. Please, Laura. Sincerely, Larry. Larry, she don't want you like that, Larry. She don't love you like that. You're not built like that. You're not built like me, my boy. Okay, so if you click on this basket of apples or little skulls, I don't even know what they are. They look like little animal skulls. It says, Dear Laura, I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I only ever wanted the best for you. I made a stupid mistake and I paid for it. Please don't make the wound deeper. We've known each other for years and I can't live without you here. I just want to see your beautiful blue eyes once again and have you in my arms. Can we not work through this together just like we have with everything? Please don't ignore me or view my words as empty. I will continue to write you for as long as it takes, just like we used to write each other. I'm so sorry. I need you, Laura. Sincerely, Larry Brick Ender. Okay, so I finally got a new note after almost two hours of playing this game. It says, indeed, my girlfriend is quite lovely. I'd love it if you two could meet someday. This was a reply from the previous letter that said that he was unemployed and lived with his girlfriend. And then my response was, oh, it's good that you have a girlfriend that's very supportive of you in these hard times. I know you all saw that letter. So I think that there's going to be another hidden letter here. It's got to be the one that's inside of the dining room, right? Please, because that's the one that I saw before. No? Wait, there's got to be another note here. There's got to be. Hold on, hold on, hold on, everybody. Don't play me, game. Where the hell is it? Is it in here? It's got to be in here. Come on. Ah, uh, what? Wait, so now it says, um, yeah, I'd love to. Maybe someday. 
Is there any particular reason you responded to my letter this way, Thomas? Or don't reply? I guess not replying would be the asshole move. I think I'm just gonna say maybe someday. Is there any particular reason you responded to my letter in this way? Now, you know what? I don't know. I'm just not gonna say anything at all. Who knows? I don't know. I feel like it's the wrong choice. I've been playing this for almost two hours. I'm trying to get like the right letter combo. Oh my goodness! Oh fuck! Oh, that scared the hell out of me. Oh no. That was terrifying. I should have just responded to the freaking letter, dude. It feels good to have a friend, doesn't it? I feel like every time they say something nice, that's when you know you're on the right track. And I wonder if the person knocking is actually Larry themselves. It has to be Lair Bear. He has that specific type of knock. And I know, I just know that I have to find all the notes around this house to further know about Larry. There was one in the bathroom. I need to find that again. And then I just need to keep going around the house and then figuring out where the other notes are. Like there was one on the wall one of the times. Remember when we saw Larry in the back corner? There was a note that was inside of the dining room area. So let's see what he says here. Fantastic. I'm super excited to have someone to talk to and I look forward to getting to know you as well. I'd simply love to hear some things about your life if you're comfortable with sharing. A few things to know about me is that I love cats. My favorite color is blue and my favorite thing to do in my spare time is write. Speaking of which, I also wanted to say that I love reading and writing just like you and I think it's great that we have that in common. Oh, and to the question you asked me in your previous reply, I don't think I'm exactly comfortable with sharing the reason as to why I've been lonely since it's rather personal. Anyhow, it was wonderful writing to you and I look forward to hearing back from you again. Sincerely, Larry. I see another note right there by the breaker box. Okay, so yeah, there's gonna be notes every single night and I just have to find them like an Easter egg hunt. This one says, Dear Laura, we haven't seen each other in months and I've written, what? You found the note in the trash. Space bar to put note down. What? How come I never seen that before? You found the note in the trash. Space bar to put note down. The fuck? We haven't seen each other in months and I've written to you every day since you left. When are you going to respond? My hand is cramped with how many times I've apologized to you and I've admitted what I did was wrong. I haven't spoken to her since it happened and I would never be with anyone other than you. I've been putting on a smile, but I've been empty without you here. Please write me back. Give me one more chance. Please, Laura. Sincerely, Larry. Okay. I thought that Larry was going to be looking at me. I got the chills again. Bro, I hate getting the chills that kill all the freaking time. Dear Larry, lovely to hear from you again. It was interesting to hear about things you're interested in as it helped me to get to know you better. One thing that I would like to ask is why you deliver your letters at such a late a time. I find it rather disrupting to my sleep, which is important to me since I work in the morning. Anyways, I'm very glad both of us enjoy reading and writing and that I now have someone I can write to consistently. One thing I'd like to ask is where you work as I'm curious if you work from home or go to an office. I personally go to work, but I know a lot of people are stuck at home. Sorry if it's a bit of a random question, but I just thought I'd ask. Happy to have heard from you and I await your reply. Or we can say, hello, pleasure writing to you again. No problems with you not wanting to answer my question. By the way, about why you've been feeling lonely, I realized that was rather insensitive of me to ask and I apologize. I think that one's better. I think we just need to... What do you all think? It says, I do prefer dogs over cats personally. That line right there could get us killed because some people have a strong opinion on their cat love and their dog love. There's another note right here. All right, cool. Let's read it. I found your new address. Why did you move? I just wanted another chance, Laura. Is that too much to ask? It's been so long since I've seen you, but I'll finally be able tonight. You thought you could just forget about me because I've never forgotten about you, not for a second since you left. You thought that you could just leave me like I'm nothing? I saw your new boyfriend too. Seems like a great guy. If only he treated you as well as I did. If you're reading this, then I'm upstairs right now. I've heard you come in and I'm heading downstairs right now. Don't bother calling the cops. I cut the phone lines and why would you want to leave? I have a wonderful smile to share with you. I can't wait to hold you again. And this time I won't let you go. XOXO, sincerely. Did I just say seriously? I meant sincerely, Larry. And it's weird because he had to have written that really freaking quick. Because he said, I heard you come in. So he wrote that and then he's like, I'm upstairs right now. Which doesn't make any sense. Dear Thomas, no worries at all about you asking about my life. I didn't take much offense to the question. Oh, and I've been feeling very well emotionally. Thanks for asking. COVID hasn't hit me quite as hard as it hit some people, and I'm very thankful for that. Now I do have one question to ask you. Sorry if it's a bit random. 
I like to ask this to most of my pen pals just to get to know them better. Have you ever been in a relationship that just didn't work out and you felt like it's all your fault? Like you could have done something different? I know it's a very personal question, so I wouldn't mind if you don't answer. Sincerely, Larry. Okay. So nothing really out of the ordinary there. He's giving me the same responses that he usually gives me. But what I need to do is I need to figure out if there's any more letters that your boy can see here. Because who knows? Oh, shit. Larry's right there. Freaking Larry, dude. I don't understand how that happens. Like, is that a fake wall? So I think that I'm going to choose the answer where I'm pretty general and said it's a personal question and it kind of came out of nowhere. Maybe I'll answer it later once we know each other better. My apologies. Just so we can keep the conversations going. But I don't know. I feel like this is going to get me killed. I honestly feel like I've been choosing the same letters over and over and over again. So that is the definition of insanity, right? Okay. I thought the guy was here. No worries, buddy. Anyways, I've got another question for you. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Do you be <sighs> Oh, bro. Yeah, everybody, the letter placements are super random. Like, there's another one right here, but it's the same one. It's the note where the guy says that he knows the new address, he's upstairs waiting, don't bother calling the cops because I already cut the lines, and yeah. Um, that's the creepiest stuff ever. That really does give me, like, an uneasy feeling with this game. I haven't felt this uneasy playing a game that looks as simple as this in a long time. The developer of this game really did a good job. So this is one of the last letters that I have to choose because I think we can only do a few responses before he ends up saying, do you believe in ghosts? So I need to really choose my options wisely here. It says, hello again. I'm quite glad to hear you've been doing well during COVID. I'm also happy that I can make you feel better by being your pen pal. Now to your question, I honestly don't think I'll answer it. Like you said, it's a very personal question and it kind of did come out of nowhere. Maybe I'll answer Answer it later once we know each other better. I think I chose that one the first time, so I'm gonna choose this one that says, Good to hear you've been getting by. I personally have been quite down lately since I haven't been able to see my family in a couple of weeks. And to answer the question you asked, yes, yes, I have. I find that when you start to feel like this, it's best to take a step back and look at the situation as a whole, not just your part in it. You need to see what went wrong between your partner and you, but you also have to acknowledge what you may have done wrong. Because in my experience, the sooner you come to terms with your own faults, the easier it is to deal with the breakup. Is there any reason you ask? I feel like I've chosen this before, but I feel like it's the best answer to write. A true friend can be hard to find. I don't think that I got that one yet. A true friend can be hard to find. The other one was like, better safe than sorry, right? Dear Thomas, thank you. Thank you very much. I've been looking for somebody to talk to for quite some time. And through everyone I've written, I haven't come across someone like you. Someone that actually cares and means to help. Someone who understands I've made mistakes before, Thomas. Big mistakes. And I'm trying my best every day to make up for them. It's just that sometimes I can't seem to let my mistakes go. I suppose everyone is like that deep down. Anyways, thank you again, Thomas, for your help. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope we cross paths again one day. Please don't stop smiling. Larry, I never did smile. Never did do it. Holy shit. <laughs> so he was watching me the whole time. There's another piece of paper on the door. It's just a smiley face. It's a smiley face of death. Bro, I don't trust that. I don't trust smiley faces. I feel like killers use that shit. Like nobody in their right mind, like nobody who's just playing around ever draws a smiley face. Only serial killers do that shit. And we did indeed get the good ending. Okay. So that is how you do it. You have to make him feel like you're his friend and you're on his side and just have empathy towards him. And you have to find those notes that kind of show what happened. So I think that he was talking to another girl or he got caught talking to another girl. And then I think the girlfriend didn't forgive him and she broke up with him. And I guess he was like devastated by it. And he probably thinks that Thomas was the new boyfriend or was Thomas just a random pen pal? Was Thomas just like really a random neighbor? I don't think that he was because Larry did say that out of all the people he's written to, you know, you're the one that I can call my friend or whatever he says. I wasn't really listening because I'm not really his friend. But I know that Lawrence said something about having multiple pen pals. But how come the notes say that he knew where the girlfriend lived, he knew about the new boyfriend, and then the pen pal, Lawrence, ends up killing the character that you're playing as. So maybe he thinks that you're the boyfriend of his ex-girlfriend. I don't even know how to interpret that. But obviously, Larry has some problems, can't get over his ex, even though he's the one that caused all these problems. And then he just becomes very, very obsessed with his ex-girlfriend to the point where he's looking to random people 
for like confirmation that he's gonna be okay and he didn't do anything wrong that's why he's having all these pen pals let me know what you thought about this game in the comment section down below i actually really enjoyed it very creepy it was simple but effective i'm gonna keep an eye out for more of the developers games in the future but hopefully you all enjoyed this if you did make sure you give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that jay from the cub scouts is that dude